James Arness, a stalwart presence in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry through his iconic portrayal of Marshall Matt Dillon in the long-running television series Gunsmoke. While his towering stature and distinctive voice became synonymous with the Western genre, there exist lesser-known facets of Arness' life that captivate enthusiasts. His military service during World War II, where he was wounded in the Battle of Anzio, adds a layer of resilience to his persona. Beyond the screen, Arnest's dedication to his craft extended to intriguing anecdotes, such as his initial reluctance to take on the role of Dylan. This hesitation, rooted in a sense of responsibility towards his previous film commitments, showcases a conscientious approach to his career. Such glimpses into the decision-making processes of Hollywood luminaries provide valuable insights into the dynamics of the industry. As we reflect on the legacy of James Arness, it prompts the question, what is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic Hollywood actor? We invite you to share your stories and recollections in the comments below, offering a collective celebration of a cinematic icon. James Arness, known for his iconic role as Marshall Matt Dillon in the long-running television series Gunsmoke, faced a personal loss when his younger brother and best friend, Peter Graves, passed away on March 14, 2010, just four days before turning 84. Despite their close bond, the two brothers never shared the screen together, but Graves directed Arness in the 1966 episode titled Witch Doctor of the Television Series. Tragically, James Arness himself departed on June 3, 2011, merely one week after celebrating his 88th birthday. His contributions to the entertainment industry and his portrayal of Marshall Dillon left a lasting impact, solidifying his legacy. In the world of Hollywood, where family connections are common but on-screen collaborations may not always materialize, the dynamic between James Arness and Peter Graves stands as a testament to their unique professional and personal relationship. Standing at an impressive 67 and weighing 235 pounds, James Arness, renowned for his portrayal of Marshall Matt Dillon in Gunsmoke, was notably self-conscious about his towering height. During the filming of the iconic series, measures were taken to obscure his stature, a detail rarely known to the public. Despite this, Arness' larger-than-life presence on screen contributed to the show's success. In addition to his physical attributes, it's interesting to note that Arness, a Republican, left an unexpected mark in political circles. His political affiliation disappointed Lady Bird Johnson, a devoted fan of Gunsmoke. This unique facet of Arness' life adds an intriguing layer to his legacy beyond the entertainment realm. After his last role in the episode Gunsmoke, One Man's Justice, James Arness retired from acting at the age of 71. Despite his towering height, often requiring creative filming techniques, Arness left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. He was not only renowned for his iconic portrayal of Marshall Matt Dillon, but also received the honor of being named an honorary U.S. Marshal in recognition of his unique contribution to the image and traditions of the U.S. Marshal's service. This accolade spoke to the impact of his work beyond the screen. Throughout his career, the massive actor frequently stood on apple boxes or performed in ditches to accommodate his size, showcasing the challenges he faced in the industry. James Arness' multifaceted legacy goes beyond his on-screen presence, encompassing his retirement decision, honorary title, and the practicalities of his imposing stature on set. Inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum in 1981, James Arness, celebrated for his enduring role as Marshall Matt Dillon in Gunsmoke, left an indelible mark on the genre. Beyond the small screen, his military service during World War II showcased a different facet of his life. Arnus, a war veteran, fought in the United States Army, landing at Anzio, Italy, where he earned commendations such as the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, and the Combat Infantryman Badge. His bravery and dedication to duty in the face of adversity laid the foundation for his later success in the entertainment industry. The longevity of his portrayal as Matt Dillon is a testament to Arness' commitment to his craft. Holding the record for playing the same character the longest, he surpassed challenges and changes in the television landscape, with 635 episodes spanning 20 years on Gunsmoke. 
a feat shared with Kelsey Grammer, Arnes enduring presence, as the iconic Marshall has become a benchmark in television history. This dual legacy honored in the Western Performers Hall of Fame, and marked by his exceptional service during World War I sets James Arnes apart in the annals of entertainment. From the battlefield to the iconic streets of Dodge City, his journey reflects a man of resilience and versatility, making a lasting impact both in the realm of westerns and the broader landscape of television. During his time at West High School in Minneapolis, Minnesota, James Arnes laid the foundation for a journey that extended far beyond the iconic streets of Dodge City. Graduating in 1942, he briefly pursued studies at Beloit College before the call to duty led him into the United States Army during World War II. His service as an infantryman included a pivotal moment during the invasion of Anzio, Italy, in 1944, where he suffered a severe leg injury from machine gun fire. Arnes' wartime experiences, marked by a shattered leg, surgeries, and commendations such as the Bronze Star and Purple Heart, shaped not only his physical challenges but also his resilience. Hospitalized for a year, he faced difficulties walking for extended periods. This lingering impact from the war became a silent companion in his later career. When filming movies or television shows, scenes requiring extensive walking were strategically shot early in the morning to accommodate his physical limitations. Beyond the battlegrounds, Arnest's connections in Hollywood were noteworthy. Collaborating closely with John Wayne, he appeared in four movies during the 1950s. Wayne's personal endorsement led Arnes to the lead role in Gunsmoke, a pivotal moment that etched his name in television history. The camaraderie extended to a recommendation by Wayne for the lead role in The Undefeated, originally cast for Rock Hudson. Despite friendships with Robert Fuller and James Drury, contractual constraints with Warner Bros prevented Arnes from making appearances on other series. The studio's policy of not lending its contract players to competitors restricted Arnes crossover into other television shows, despite his personal connections in the industry. From the trenches of World War II to the Hollywood spotlight, James Arnes' journey is one of resilience, camaraderie, and overcoming physical challenges. His story, woven through war heroism and Hollywood alliances, adds depth to his legacy, transcending the iconic Marshall Matt Dillon he brought to life on screen. As we bid farewell to this exploration of actor James Arnes' remarkable journey through the realms of entertainment, let's take a moment to delve into our personal tapestry woven with the threads of his performances. The cinematic legacy of James Arnes is not merely a screen narrative, but a resonant chord that vibrates within the chambers of our own experiences. Now, I invite you, dear reader, to pause and reflect on the tapestry of memories that James Arnes has contributed to your cinematic consciousness. What scenes linger in the corridors of your mind? Which character left an indelible mark on your emotions? As we traverse the cinematic landscape painted by this unparalleled actor, consider sharing your cherished moments and thoughts. Your reflections, like the facets of a rare gem, add depth and richness to the collective appreciation of Arnes' artistry. In the tapestry of entertainment, James Arnes stands as a master craftsman, a weaver of stories that transcend time. Your reflections become a testament to the enduring power of his performances. So, let your voice join the symphony of admiration as we celebrate the impact he has had on the world of storytelling. In closing, we extend our deepest gratitude to you, dear reader, for embarking on this journey with us. Your time and interest are the sparks that keep the flame of appreciation alive. As we continue to explore the vast expanse of cinematic brilliance, let us carry forward the legacy of James Arnes in our hearts. Thank you for sharing this reflective moment with us, and until our paths cross again in the realms of storytelling, be inspired, be captivated, and be ever connected to the magic of cinema as...